Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing good today. So I've been leveling my scholar class lately and I got to 50 today, so I decided I'd make a quick video on my impressions of the role. After grinding from 1 to 50, I formed the opinion that healer is the hardest role in this game. And I'll go over that more later, but for now, I'd like to tell you what I think makes a good healer. Alright, let's get right to it. So, to begin with, I'll start with the traits that I've learned and struggled with as I was doing the grind from 1 to 50. For the first trait, I think that a good healer should be able to manage keeping their teammates alive while doing damage to the boss. This is something that I think a lot of new players are unable to do. Uh, it's something I had trouble with starting out. But as I thought it through some more, it's pretty simple. When your team is dying, just focus on healing. And when you have some downtime, because your tank isn't taking as much damage anymore, and your DPS aren't off getting themselves killed, you can cast some damage spells. You can cast those Ruin 1s, those Ruin 2s, those Art of Wars, those Bio 2s. And just remember to keep an eye on your team's health bars. You shouldn't be casting Ruin 1, Ruin 2, while your tank is screaming eternally and casting all their damage mitigation so they don't die. So as a healer, you have to have good awareness. You need to be able to keep your eye on those health bars, you need to be able to know when you need to do that damage, and you need to be able to take care of yourself. Those AoEs, you don't want to stand in them. If you're anywhere near the tank, you don't want to be near him so that those AoEs don't interrupt you so you can get your heal off, or else that might result in your tank dying. The second quality that a good healer needs is to be able to manage your mana. I think that new healers will have trouble with this, because I personally had trouble with this. Unlike a class like Black Mage, which has a form they can switch to when they run out of mana, healers actually have to manage their mana cost and spell usage. This was very difficult for me as I forgot to use Lucid Dreaming between pulls, and that would sometimes result in my team nearly getting wiped, or wiped. So being able to manage your mana is very important so that you and your team don't get wiped. So something else you really need to know along these lines is when to use what healing spell. It took me a while to figure out when I should use Physic or when I should use Eladoki. So basically what I like to do is when my tank is starting to get low, I guess Eladokium so they have that shield plus a 300 cure potency. And while they have that shield, I cast Physic in between. This roll gets a lot easier once you get a 45, uh, and you have access to the skill Lustry. It's an instant cast heal that costs no mana. So when you're scared for your tank's life, you can cast Aladokia and cast those two Lustrates, or three, if you're really scared, and they'll be back to full in no time. I like to use Lustry as something that is for emergencies only, or when I'm running away from an AoE and I really need to heal. So for the last trait I can think of that makes a good healer, is being able to adjust and adapt to how your party members play. As a healer, your job is to make up for those mistakes that people can make. You have to be the one that saves your DPS if they fall asleep and they stand in the boss's AoE. It's your job to get them back to full. You also need to be able to keep up with how many enemies the tank pulls. If they're really large groups, it's going to be pretty hard for you to keep them at full health. So don't be afraid to let the tank know that you can't handle that much. So those were some of the traits that I had to learn in order to be a good healer. Uh, if you're still asking yourself, so why do you think it's the hardest role? Well, that's because of all that micromanaging I had to do early game. I had to make sure my tank was near full HP, I had to make sure my DPS wasn't getting themselves killed, I had to manage my own health and avoid mobs AoEs so I could successfully cast my heals so the tank doesn't die, all while managing my mana as well. So healing when you're brand new is hard. I think even after you get used to healing, that it's definitely the hardest roll out of the three. So after granting my Scholar to level 50, I found a new appreciation for healers. That doesn't mean I won't get a little mad if I don't get healed after being at 25% health for a minute, but I'll be able to sympathize them with them a little bit more. 
and that's it for this video. If you liked it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.